Today we had the inauguration of the Tata Steel Net Zero Sprint, which is a joint collaborative initiative between Tata Steel and the British High Commission. This was inaugurated by the Minister of State for Science, Research and Innovation of the UK, Mr. George Freeman. It's a momentous occasion where two countries uh, under the um, umbrella of UK-India Hydrogen Hub that was signed by the two Prime Ministers has been initiated today. Tata Steel takes lead in this by investing £80,000 with a corresponding funding of about £200,000 from the British government. With the help of this uh, initiative, we will scout for startups and research groups that are working on hydrogen. Hydrogen, as you know, is of utmost importance for decarbonization of the steel industry. We have a target of net zero by 2045, and to achieve this, we will need multiple technologies. The existing legacy technologies will take us so far, but to go to net zero, we will need hydrogen in bulk, hydrogen at low cost. And the technologies that will take us to that level, uh, to those targets are today at low scale. And therefore we need to work closely with academia across the world and with startups across the world to accelerate our journey towards net zero. And as we know that um, UK has a strong uh, ecosystem of innovation and they have a strong focus on decarbonization and so has India. So with the, uh, with the two countries coming together and with the focus on decarbonization, especially on hydrogen, we look forward to getting together a group of startups which are focused on hydrogen generation and hydrogen storage and transportation at low cost and in volume and looking forward to working together to make net zero possible for our company and for the steel sector as a whole. So a call for participation in this initiative will go out and we request um, enthusiastic participation from all startups and research groups working in the areas of green, clean, cheap hydrogen to come forward and, um, and, and respond to this call of Tata Steel Sprint to Net Zero. Thank you.